We are in the heart of North Carolina right now, climbing an elevation in search of rubies. So I haven't gone crystal hunting like this in a good while. Oh, I know someone right there is super excited to be finding some rubies today. Say hi. We've got a bit more driving to do, and I hope my brother's fusion actually can make it up these mountain trails, but we'll get there eventually and we'll find some cool stuff. Let's do it. More crazy Valentines and crystal hunters have showed up. And as long as they don't die from some kind of thorn, bug, snake, we'll find some rubies. Justin's never gonna make it in time to find anything. I don't think that has metal in it, brother. Oh, that's kyanite. That's no. a good sign. No so this shows that we're at the right depth. Well, this used to be at the right depth to form the rubies we're looking for if we're forming this kind of mineral. So we're getting close to the zone where these rubies formed. So that, there's some more of it. Nope. This is a good sign. We're getting in the zone for those rubies. So Kat just pointed out this rock to me. And this rock actually happens to be the host rock that the rubies are in. It's actinolite and it's this blue-green mineral that's all throughout it. And now this one's heavily eroded and it's in the middle of this trail so we're not gonna dig into it, but there could be something cool in here. Yes, oh, that's the, that's the ruby rock. That's the rock that's gonna have rubies in it. Find some rubies, brother. I'm looking. So one of the best parts about going to new places to explore is you get to find some really cute animals. And this little snail is making me so very happy. But I am here for rubies and rubies we will find. I think someone up there is very happy to have a pickaxe. <laughs> so brother, Justin, just found a really interesting rock. That is a chunk of tourmaline and I think plagioclase with these cool low quality garnets that have been eroded and you can just see like the halves or the cross sections of them. So there are really cool things here, that's for sure. Undeniable poop that there's Sasquatch. Because we are not near any cows. Jane, you think you could have made that? Definitely. Maybe. You gonna start breaking rocks or what, little man? Well, I wanna try first. I've got the big boy muscles. So Justin over there just found a pretty interesting rock. That looks, to me, like asbestos. Which is kind of cool. Minerals have a crystalline structure and these guys form these singular threads. And that's actually their crystal. So thousands of these crystal threads together form this weird looking rock and I'm pretty sure it's asbestos and it's not a harmful version but it's really cool beautiful area to be out exploring and looking for stuff with family these guys think they just found the first ruby from the day oh yeah you got a ruby a little tiny ruby more like mm -hmm. a sapphire yeah cool let me get the macro lens out there we go a little pink sapphire Hopefully where there's one, there's gonna be plenty more. Really glad Danielle found that. That's super cool. Venture Cat is coming over to check out the sapphire. So these get their um, color. The chromium replaces the aluminum in the mineral structure. So it's Al2O3. And if you get 1% of that aluminum to be replaced with chromium, you'll get your nice deep rubies. And if you get less than 1%, if it's chromium at least, you'll get a pink sapphire and uh, different elements will give you the blue sapphires. It's a really cool little piece, and I hope we can find more. Oh, but this rock up here is nice too. This looks pretty rich, if you could break this apart. Oh, there's a ruby right there. Found a ruby. All right, right in the center of this frame is another ruby. It's pretty dark, and it's got a little bit of erosion going on, but that's a ruby. They're out here. Jordan's constantly in the fossil hunting mindset, so he's looking for patterns like shark teeth. But Danielle, who's new at this, is actually looking for rubies, apparently. And she's got the third ruby from the day. There we go. That little pink ruby. So cute. So cute and so very, very little. <coughs> Kids, you guys will have plenty of time to look for rubies together. <laughs> I didn't catch the initial response, but Danielle apparently found... The third one. Oh, that's the tiniest one, but yeah. Let me get the macro lens out again. There's Danielle's third ruby for today. Really tiny example, but that's what it is. Corundum with a little bit of chromium to get that pink color. Hey, Justin, Danielle found two more, and Jordan thinks he found his first one. Let me see, brother. I mean, first, me and Danielle found a bunch together. Ooh, that is a little ruby. 
Good job, brother. Back to Jordan's ruby. I think that's the prettiest so far. A little bit of pink, a little bit of chromium in there. Really cute little ruby. <laughs> Apparently I'm getting called out over there for not finding any rubies. I am just the one that's recording your wonderful experience and then showing you guys these amazing places to find stuff. You guys found the one on the wall. <laughs> Danielle's got some more rubies that she wants me to see. And we're gonna take a look at them right now. More little rubies. Although I don't think this one, well, no, that is one. This one too is just broken. The way these rubies actually formed is really interesting. So most rocks have to follow the law of superposition, which means that the rocks at the top highest are the youngest, and the rocks at the deepest are the oldest. Well, the way things happen out here was a lot different. So this is all part of the base of an ancient mountain chain, Smoky Mountains, that used to be much bigger. When these originally formed, all these rock layers that were uniformly deposited flat got squished, and they formed these really squiggly bits, so like a wave, they all got squished. You have these wavy rock formations that are now compressed, and then additionally there was a second mountain building event that then tilted it. And so then since it was all wavy and crazy, it got tilted, and it put the oldest rocks at the top and the youngest at the bottom. So these rubies are actually coming out of an incredibly old section of rock that was metamorphosed and it was really deep in the earth which allowed it to form the necessary pressure and temperature to give us rubies. So a really cool place and I'm really glad to share this with my family. So we're out hiking again. We're gonna try to look for some float, some chunks of this actinolite just eroding out of the mountainside and hopefully there'll be some rubies in the eroded section or maybe just people won't have looks for it that hard like over here. We've walked about a hundred yards. And we've only changed a little bit in elevation, but we're already outside of where that actinolite was, where we were finding those rubies. But hopefully if we get back up in the mountainside, we'll find more of it. Squat up. You really never know how beautiful some of these areas are gonna be until you're actually there. Treasure hunting, crystal hunting, fossil hunting, doesn't matter what it is, but it'll take you to beautiful places. We've got more actinolite. It's out here. Just flipped over this rock right here that was in that little pocket. And right over here are some little rubies. Right there, right there, right there. There's one over here. So there's still rubies out here. Who would have figured rocks that have rubies in it are hard to break? Break! Break! No. We're back at the original site and it looks like Kat says she found her ruby. Well, there's a couple little tiny, see it? Oh, the little specks? Red, 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 red. Hey, bring that pickaxe! Here is what Kat was talking about, each one of those little pink flecks is an individual ruby, or a broken piece of one. So there's actually a really good concentration of ruby in here. Each one of those pink ones is it. So we're gonna give it over to that madman right there, and he's gonna break it apart. Whoop, get all the pieces. There we go, more rubies. A tiny one right dead center. Cute little ruby, nice color too. It looks good. <laughs> I've seen better. <laughs> Kat's just sitting here going through all this float and apparently she tells me she's found another nice one. And that is a ruby. Right there. This little one. Yeah, they don't look as nice one until they erode out, but that is a ruby in its original host rock. They say caveman runs in our family. We've got a little bit of Neanderthal DNA. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Myself. Oh my. Oh, what happens? So I think everyone here has reached their recreational limit for crystal Actually, hunting. I can do it forever, just uh, I have a headache. Yeah, recreational limit. <laughs> so I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video. We did manage to find some rubies like we promised. And I think everyone had a good time. Hope you guys learned something from it. 
If you enjoyed the video, please make sure, as always, to like it, to share it, and to sub to, to subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Yeah, like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, guys.